Hey everybody, God bless you. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a blessed, wonderful day. Today I got some, um, this really cute channel name for you today, Daisy Team Jesus. When I read that, I was like, oh gosh, it's so cute. It's such a cute name. So she had a dream. She said it is, um, Jesus is coming dream and given crowns. So that's very interesting. Let's watch and see what she experienced. By the way, if you guys haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to help support my ministry of giving away my Jesus shirts for free, you can send thanks down below my video. There's a thanks button. You can purchase yourself a shirt or you could just keep watching and uh, helping, helping me to raise funds to... Um, give out my um, designs for free. So I love you guys. Let's get into this video. Hey guys, it's Stacy. Um, today is April 30th, 2021. Blessings to everyone. I have a beautiful, encouraging dream to share. Um, let me start with a prayer, Lord Jesus. Um, we give you all the praise, all the glory. Thank you for your revelation. Um, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. All right, guys. Um, so this happened where I started where I was in this van. And in this van, okay, we were just going like way uphill, like going up in a hill, but it was a, such a smooth road. I could see the road, but it was so speedy, so fast that to the point where I felt like we were flying up. And all of a sudden, as we were flying up, the back door, like the trunk of this van opened, it like burst open. And I find myself hugging the seat, like um, this part of the seat, guys, where it's um, where the head area. I was hugging that, like holding on to my very dear life, because if I didn't, then I could easily fall off on that back because we were so like almost pointing, like going up. Wow. Now um, the scene changes and I find myself in my living room and um, there was this lady and she was passing out. Um, this beautiful, colorful, it was just a beaded crown. I put it in my head and I felt, oh, I just, just felt so precious like you were a queen, like it was my very own tiara. And then all of a sudden, guys, she hands me another one out. She hands me another crown. And like, I didn't notice there was this six to seven year old little girl in my living room. And I also give it to her. I put it in her, we put it in her head. And it was just so, so much, it was just so fun, peaceful, um, because we had our very own crowns. Um, and the dream ended. And I've been praying, guys. Um, it's, um, uh, Holy Spirit led me to this scripture. And um, it's, it's, all right, let me go back, guys, to where... Um, we were going uphill, okay, we were like so, flying so fast, okay, like uh, to the point where we were like, not, we were like in the road, but it felt like we were flying, and I was um, praying, could this represent the rapture? Um, at the same time, guys, um, as I was like, the, the back door burst open, and I was holding on to my very dear life. Now, Revelation 3 verse 11, guys, is where the Holy Spirit led me to. It says, I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have that no one may seize your crown. Hold on. Mm. Like in this, like in the, uh, in the dream, I was holding on, guys, so tightly. Or else it could be so easy for me to just fall. Yeah. And then the next scene like in that scripture see um so that no one will seize your crown we are given crowns guys um we have that only <laughs> only um we have that heavenly crown only those who has the eyes to see and ears to hear know what i'm talking about but it's a real deal guys we have there was this crown and um this lady could represent you know an angelic being or uh represent representative um from the from the from the spiritual or heavenly aspect giving out gifts and 
um, this little girl, I was, I didn't, not only me, I had the count. I, she also gave one, passed one to this little girl and the Holy Spirit revealed to me that represents God's children, a child of God, that innocent, pure child of God. Just like us, all who puts our trust and faith in Him. We know like we are all children, guys. We know that we are nothing without Him. He's um, just all of a sudden, we're just in our heart. We're just we're just little children. And yeah. so guys, it's just a beautiful reminder. Again, in that scripture, it says, I am coming soon. And um, it's... You know, this is what amazes me, guys. God's love for us. He is just so, so amazing. He gives us time to repent. He gives us time to build that relationship with Him. And now is the time to not waste time, guys. Um, yesterday, I was listening to YouTube. It was just beautiful testimony of a sister in Christ she just she said she never asked i'll try to look for that link but she never asked god for anything she just refers to her bible but just this very day that she was but just this very day that she was because of everything that's happening she asked the lord lord if if you are indeed coming soon she gave a challenging um uh she was asking for something very challenging. she asked for a 20 dollar bill um few days passed by and she totally forgot of her prayer and then all of a sudden like her normal routine where she was just walking she finds a 20 bill and she shares it um she shares it on youtube and it's just so beautiful guys so many testimonies around the world so many people having dreams and visions so many pe so many things biblical events that are coming to pass mm -hmm. and if we saw like in the bible you know, there's going to be those scoffers, guys, who don't believe. And, um, you know, you can't really do anything about that. But in the Bible, when Noah, you know, Noah was was spreading the mess, Jesus, you know, a flood is coming. It's time to repent. But, you know, no one believed. Everyone just went on with their wicked ways until Noah went into the ark and the flood came. Same time when... Jesus was dying on the cross. No one believed that he was king. And the third day, he rose again. And no one knew, guys. Um, only his true worshipers, his true believers who followed him. Yes. At the same time, guys, when God says, I am coming soon. And with so many people being... Um, so many people having dreams and visions so many biblical events coming and um coming to pass guys it's just it's the lord is waking his people up praise and, jesus yeah if you feel that little thing in your heart that um that that's that's something in your heart that's the lord knocking now is the time to, you know, build that relationship. Don't waste time because he loves you so much. And everything that's happening, it's it's, it's real. And um, even, guys, just walking in this Lord, if you have the Lord, you will see his glory. And you'll just feel his protection all the time. Amen. Um, so many things that the Lord has um done with this channel ever since i had this um uh the very first dream where i believe is my call and i shouted i was shouting in my house where jesus is coming jesus is coming and the lord is showing many things in this channel guys so i pretty i just pray um if you don't know the lord um just just pray in your heart guys okay Close your eyes, Lord Jesus. Um, I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. And I ask you to be the King, the King of Kings and Lord of Lord of my life. I believe that you died in the cross and rose again on the third day. Please cleanse me of my sin. Please cleanse me of my righteousness. And I want to follow you 
all the days of my life. Please, Lord Jesus, um, reveal to me the times we are in, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, guys. Um, yeah, uh, it's amazing. Um, have so much joy and peace to just have that beautiful crown, you guys. It's yours. Don't let anyone seize it. And like in that road, I was holding tight. I believe in the back that that when that door opened, it could represent all the distractions and deception. Yeah. That you know, it's just the plot of the enemy. Don't hold on tight, guys. Hold on tight because he is coming soon. All right. Um, blessings to everyone. Um, I mean, have a blessed and wonderful, God-filled week ahead. Um, weekend ahead, right? Um, love you all. Um, bye. Love you too. Bye, my sister. So cute. Thank you so much for your dream. You guys, I hope you guys were blessed by that. I apologize if you saw me snacking on my donut. <laughs> I was, uh, I got a little bit left of my donut. There's a new donut shop in, uh, in my town. And they literally make donuts, and it's, like, sold out by, like, 11. People just go there and buy all the donuts. So this is my first time trying it, and, uh, you know, I um, I do these videos all day, so I'm, I'm working and, like, sitting here and, like, trying to get some snacks in here and there and trying not to be annoying at the same time, you know. <laughs> Everybody likes seeing people munching on food. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are enjoying all the videos. And um, I am really happy and I'm really like gung-ho excited to that. She was saying like how she was saying how what the Lord has done through her channel. I'm just I was just thinking about that, too. Like I had no idea my channel was going to be right here where it is now you know, in 2018. <laughs> and, uh, you know, all I had was a desire <sighs> to share my testimony and just upload it to YouTube. So uh, all I had was this strange desire that I needed to make a, you, I needed to get on YouTube and make a video, make a YouTube channel and share my testimony. And that was all that I had. I didn't have nothing else, you know. This wasn't something normal for me because I'm an introvert, you know. Like, I, I don't, I don't like being in the spotlight. I don't like being, you know, in front of the camera and doing all this stuff. Like, I had no idea that. And that just goes to show you that that one desire that you have that God puts into you that you feel like you want to do, that's your first step because he wants to bring you into something. And how are you going to experience the fullness of your ministry of what God has called, called you to do if you don't first step into the first thing that he's given you the desire for? It could be with your music. It could be with your art. It could be with your speaking. You know, there's gifts that he gave you. It could be writing something. You know, whatever it is, you've got to act on it right now. If you have a desire to share your rapture dream, hello. <laughs> Like, you got something, and God's, like, wanting you to share it. That's your first thing. And if you don't do that, you're not going to know what 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 your calling is because the very first simple thing that he gives you, you can't even move forward with, you know. So you got to move forward because look at me. All I was had to, all was just like, okay, little me, I don't know. I'm nobody, and I'm going to post my testimony. And I was terrified to do it, too. I was afraid. I was like, people are going to start bashing me on the comment section and stuff, you know, for coming out and sharing being a believer in Jesus. 
But obviously that didn't actually happen. But I'm sure maybe it could have. But honestly, just got to step out and do it, you guys. Come on. And if you want to help me in my mission work, the thanks button is down below. You can send your thanks and help me give out my Jesus shirts for free. You can go buy a Jesus shirt. That would be the best option because Jesus wants people to be wearing them as much as possible. Or you could just keep watching my videos because you're also, but just by watching, you're helping me to raise funds. So if you made it to the end of this video, please leave down below the word donuts <laughs> because it's just random and funny. Or you can leave some donut emojis. Just leave some donuts down below. That'll be cute for the comment section. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys again soon in the next one. Bye.